I love the quiet of dawn, I find I'm more likely to maintain creative focus throughout the day if I'd made a start with my mind fresh and clear. I find it helpful to mark the centre of the surface I'm working on and then to mark out golden sections. It's really important to understand how the big shapes will fit together. There were three main references for this composition. My memories, colour studies and photographs I made on a boat trip on the 23rd of October. I'm physically building up the surface of my composition using gesso. I paint over a coloured surface. This colour and tone is very important for the mood of the painting. I like rubbing the paint around to reveal the gesso marks and edges underneath. I love the excitement of these first marks. At this stage, anything is possible. My first impulse to make this painting was the views from a boat trip I made in October, when the sun never rises above the horizon. So the six to eight hours of daylight are always dawn. This creates stunning colours in the sky, which contrast with the cold blues and greys of the land or the sea. Without the warmth of the sky colours in the sea, this painting was disturbingly bleak. I was going to explain how I get the ideas for my paintings, but soon realised that this is far too varied a topic to condense into a few seconds. This is the final painting for my exhibition, Svalbard, Arctic Wilderness, Community and Polar Bears.